I just wrapped an interview today at NBC Studios. So the kid had to kind of look a little sharper, you know what I mean? Going to the real movie lot. Uh, very exciting. It's a secret project that I've been working on for quite some time now. I'd say a good six months. Um, but again, key word there, secret. Can't tell you just yet, but I can tell you this. This circles around me exercising my rights here in the industry and trying to help others do the same. The goal is to raise the bar. The goal is to make the business better for everybody. The goal is to get more girls to want to stay and enjoy themselves and learn other trades in the industry, whether it's editing or taking photos or what have you. And same for the male performers. But the role really is so different. So this today kind of ties into that. So it's something that I'm kind of making sure I divide my time to. Oh, my name is Andy. I feel weird because I never emailed somebody like this before. I'm a very big fan of yours. You're so beautiful in so many ways. I guess you should just get it to my wife left for me another guy and made a video and I was forced to watch it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm wondering if there's any way I can meet you for a little fun. I have a nine inch cock and I would fuck you like you've never been. Rather you believe it or not. Please get back to me. I give Andy a lot of credit. I've done gangbangs. Okay, I've been fucked like no one's been fucked before. Andy over here, Andy thinks he's going to be the one. And by the way, how do you think Andy's measuring his penis? Do you think he's starting past the balls? Do you think he's stretching it out nine inches? Do you really think Andy's nine inches? Because if Andy were this said, by the way, I'm deleting these after I read them to you. Um, I'm merely just reading them to you for entertainment purposes. So I'm also booking my new scenes and for my next movies and getting myself in my regular shooting routine now because now I need to start having shooting a scene a week because I know you guys are thirsty for more content and I need to be creating, which I enjoy. So I realized like, okay, it's time for me to do some anal. Everyone's asking me about it. It's important. I enjoy it. So I booked my first anal scene. Marcus Dupree. You know, I love Marcus Dupree. Mm. Then I realized, "Mm, I should just do a DP. I haven't done one of those in a while either. Let's find somebody. So I booked my DP, Prince and Isaiah. Now I realize I'd love to throw a gangbang or a multiple group scenes like maybe in this movie. The logistics involved in booking a gangbang. Let's start with this. I have to be sure I am in a place where I haven't shot anal for a good week to two weeks. I have to be sure my body is completely ready. So there's me. So now I I form a little bit of availability. Then I reach out to the camera crews that I would like to use for said project to get their availability. Then I reach out to the makeup artist. Okay. Once I have camera and makeup and myself, we narrow it down to like three. Now you got to start getting a hold of talent reaching out to five different guys to try to get to be sure that they all are okay working in the same scene, to be sure that they're all available on the same day. Really difficult. Uh, From there, you got to find specific locations. You know, you're shooting a gangbang. You don't want to be at a house on a regular street. So you know that you need to be somewhere where you're in like a gated drive where there's a lot of places for parking because there's going to be a shitload of cars. You also have to consider that it's a house that can handle it. So two showers is not enough. We need a bigger house, four to five showers. We need to know that everybody has space. It's a lot of people. We need to know that it is a good enough workbench, shall I say, whether it's going to be the couch, the kitchen counter, it has to be big enough for a group scene. We normally find that the Ottomans, those leather, pleather Ottomans work best because you can put three or four of them together and there's no backs on it like on a couch. This works. So these are just a minute amount, but these are my main obstacles right now. This is the life I chose. Chose, chose, chose.